Okay, everybody, today's class is being led by our usual educator here, Mr. Sam Trophia, our owner and president. Hey guys, girls, boys, girls, everybody. What we are doing today is we just received 150 giant swallowtail pupae. Um, these are for our um, program that we're doing uh, tomorrow, um, which we are trying to, our Trophy of Butterfly Foundation, the Trophy of Butterfly Foundation, is trying to uh, repopulate the giant swallowtail, which was pretty much lost after Hurricane Irma. So with our amazing breeders up in um, the Orlando area, um, we have secured about 1,000 butterfly pupae. Um, these are the giant swallowtail pupae. And uh, so systematically over the next, what are we saying guys, six weeks, eight weeks, mm -hmm. uh, we will be releasing um, 100 uh, at a time into various areas around uh, the city of Key West. Uh, we're giving away 300 uh, lime trees and that's happening at the Mark House tomorrow. Um, at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and we're taking the names and addresses of uh, people who are taking the lime trees which is the host plant food of the giant swallowtail so without the host plant food the butterflies cannot reproduce so um, it's our newest uh, project that we're doing 100 percent of the donations that we've received over the last few years um, um, uh, totaling almost ten thousand dollars which the foundation is spending uh, that's in the trees, a decorative pot, and of course all the butterfly pupae up to a 1,000 butterfly pupae. So tomorrow is our first tree giveaway. Um, so what I'm doing here is some of the uh, butterfly uh, pupae still have what they call their silk girdle, which uh, when a butterfly, when a caterpillar attaches itself to a tree, uh, this is what it uses to secure the chrysalis onto a tree. But of course the breeders can't send us the tree, so they pull the pupae off the tree. Sometimes they leave the silk, and sometimes you see that there's no silk at all. So we have to make our own silk and button. These are much more preferred over this. This is a lot of work to, to do. But this breeder has been great. All the stuff that you see here um, uh, is the only stuff that we have that does not have silk. So this is great. So what I'm doing right here is I have our slanted spreading boards. Once they're finished, you'll see that the uh, butterflies sit in their natural state, um, and then they're put on a, a branch or a wire um, in an enclosure and then allowed to hatch. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put a little hot glue on my pad, let it cool just a second here, and then once I stick the silk on, you see it's immediate. So these are real easy to do. Now this one, uh, yeah, these are all really great. These are, the breeder just made it super easy for us to do this. So you see what I'm doing, trying to keep it in their natural state, which is pretty awesome. Now this one does not have the full girdle. So what I'll do here is I'll place it on the board and I'll take it through the silk. You got that, Chris? Mm -hmm. Take it through the silk, push it down, and it is now secured in that position. See, this one came off, so I'll just give this a little extra glue here. Stick him back on there, and he should be good to go here. He's gonna be a little bit picky. There we go. So... I come around to the other side for a better yeah. angle. So hopefully... these ones that are harder to do without the yeah. girdle. So hopefully these um, have been in what we call suspended animation or in a uh, cool cooler uh, up in uh, Orlando. These can take some refrigerator use. Most exotic butterflies cannot take the cold temperatures, but you can slow down the metamorphosis process of these butterflies by chilling them. So these have been in the refrigerator uh, up north for about uh, a week and a half, um, which has slowed their development, um, which gives us time uh, to pin them properly, put them in an outdoor enclosure, and since our temperatures are over 80 degrees now, uh, these guys will develop naturally and, uh, and hatch. Um, uh, and it's, it's nice to hatch them outside because they become uh, uh, 
extremely, uh, what's the word for it? Acclimated, uh, acclimated to the outside, uh, which is what we want them to do. Uh, a lot of times our butterflies in the conservatory, uh, because they're handled by humans all the time and they see humans all the time, they're less um, apt to shy away from us. Uh, when we do it outside, uh, the butterflies in their natural environment, it makes them more wary of, uh, of people. And which therefore we, safer. Safer, which we kind of like. Um, hey, do you guys have any questions? I don't know how many people are tuned in right now because I know everybody's sequestered at home taking care of themselves, which we hope you guys are because we are closed here. You want to read me some of those, Chris? Do we have any? I feel like Mr. Rogers <laughs> without the sweater. Yes, so. I will put together all the answers and we'll be back in questions and we'll be back in just a bit with answers.